Welcome to lecture three of the gear unit. And in this lecture, I'm going to be talking about the first part of what I want to tell you about what gear means, um, both in the games and also, of course, in the epic, but mostly focused on the games, continuing on from what we were doing in the second part of uh, the gear unit. And um, to help me explain it, I've turned to the Lord of the Rings online official forums. Um, and as some of you probably know, it doesn't take too long when you're looking in the official forums to find a discussion about gear that expresses exactly the thing that I want to express to you in this lecture about what gear means, and that is gear means honor. Okay, here we go. We have a poster, um, uh, and he links to a picture and description of a swift javelin of skill which has some very good stats, but what I want to express most of all is that although the stats are a hugely important part of it, they're not the most important part. The most important part is what the stats represent, which again is honor. Okay, so the swift javelin of skill, 14.6 DPS, or I guess somehow here, 15.7 DPS, but anyway, that's what he links to. And here in this thread, in the general discussion forum of the official forums of Lord of the Rings Online, we find him saying, I found this entry and me wants. Was wondering if anybody had any idea on where those drop. Are those crafted? On a side note, thank you for my Lotro.com and Lorebook. I wish that in the future it will expand and get better, though. In WoW's Armory, so the reason I'm reading this part is that he is a uh, experienced MMO player, he or she. I could click on any item to see where it is acquired and the upgrades I could get. I also would like to see armor values displayed when inspecting a character, but that is for another thread. So he is an experienced player of WoW, which is World of Warcraft, and that means that he's used to the idea of what gear represents, and he wants this. Now, he wants it because of the stats, but having the stats clearly is an issue of honor for him because he is this experienced player. And if you think about it, really, um, given what the stats in uh, a game like Lord of the Rings Online or any game represent, why would you really care all that much unless there was something else going on and the something else is honor? And this is how people respond, which I think is equally revealing. First response, there's a strong possibility that it's a world draw. Since it's level 25, I would suggest killing sentient mobs around that level range. Okay, so a drop means it's something that comes off of a monster, which means that if you do the work to kill enough of those monsters, you will eventually get this item. Um, and therefore, the item is in its possession by you a symbol of the work that you did. And the work that you did, of course, equals the honor that you earned within the game for having done that work. Now, obviously, as real life goes in the real world, it's meaningless. But, of course, we all know that things like this are very important to gamers, and it's that culture that we're interested in. And if you think about it, it's the same thing that's going on in Homer, although it corresponds perhaps to more of a real-world dynamic. Um, but nevertheless, the kinds of weapons that people like Achilles use aren't weapons that you'd find in the real world, and yet they represent honor for Achilles and Patroclus and Hector. <coughs> Our next poster... I think I saw that drop off of one of the bosses in Great Barrows. Don't take my word for fact as I am not sure, but I do recall coming across a fairly nice javelin while farming GB with my 60 champ. That is, I know what you're saying and I want to help. I'll have to check my bank, but I'm pretty sure I got that this past Saturday in GA, which stands for Garth Agarwen. Um, anyway, if I have it, I will get a hold of you again since we are on the same server. So. What we have here is a kind of economy, but it's not an economy of even uh, metaphors for coins, that is, gold, silver, copper, uh, which are the currency within the game. It's an economy of honor. That is, you are somebody who appreciates a good weapon like this. That means you deserve honor within the game. That means you deserve to have my javelin. Now, obviously, we can differ in our interpretation of exactly what's going on here, and you may disagree with me that it's honor that's involved, but I think if we look at the comparison with what happens in the Iliad and Achilles' prize getting taken away and the consequences that it has, 
um, the prize being something that Achilles himself in Book 9 says is really of no account, and then later when he's finally making up with Agamemnon, says he wishes the girl had died before she came between them. I think we're dealing with the same kind of dynamic, um, and I think the meaning of gear within an MMORPG or uh, any other game where gear is important, another kind of role-playing game, a uh, first-person shooter where you should have the right gear if you're going to accomplish the right thing at the right time, especially in multiplayer, especially in multi <coughs> multiplayer, especially in multiplayer, especially in multiplayer, especially in multi uh, the focus of the next lecture. Um, when you're dealing with that uh, economy Warning. of something symbolic, um, that is something like honor, you're dealing Warning. with something that Warning. spans the centuries um, and is a kind of fundamental part of this kind of storytelling, at least. 